Hey, every once in a while, you tend to find a diamond in the rough. Last few days, matter of fact, the last week, I've had some really fine wine, some really good expensive wine, but every once in a while, you find that one wine where you go, you double check, and am I drinking a 40 or $50 wine, or am I drinking a wine that's a lot less? We're gonna go ahead and discuss possibly one of those in this 2018 Lone Birch Chardonnay from the Yakima Valley. Stay tuned. Hey, good afternoon everybody. This is the Rookie Wine and Whiskey Enthusiast channel, YouTube's primary channel for discussing Washington State wines and spirits and whiskeys, but not exclusively. Well, Sunday evening, we're gonna go ahead and taste well, let me back up here just a little minute. Before we go ahead and jump into the wine, hit the subscribe button, and when you do, hit the bell icon. That way, when I do upload these videos, if you like them, you're gonna go ahead and get notified that I've gone ahead and uploaded a video, a wine or whiskey or spirits review. And then that way, while you're quarantined in your house, you get to watch this beautiful face. Anyways, I got, I lo <coughs> love doing goofy things like this. <coughs> I got my son behind the camera tonight. He just kind of gave me that sun look. All right, anyways, we're going to go ahead and discuss this 2018 Lone Birch. It's a Chardonnay out of the Yakima Valley. Now, a couple days ago, I went into my wine uh, refrigerator, and I was looking for a white because my wife and I were having uh, some fish. And I said, well, what's this? And I didn't remember purchasing it. Matter of fact, I went into Seller Tracker on my app, uh, my phone app, and I couldn't find that I had purchased this wine. Now, normally I purchase probably 95% of the wine in the house. So I was pretty confident that I had purchased it. I just don't remember when, and I can't remember when I had a recommendation for it. So my wife and I were sitting here having uh, I think fish. We were having fish. We were having tuna fish. Um, and we're like, wow, this is a really good Chardonnay. Now, the thing is, is, at a certain price point, you wonder if, is it a, the bottle's a one-off or is it really that good? So later that evening, my wife and I went to a friend's house. We had some really good wines, uh, some beautiful reds, a Lemberger out of the Olympic Peninsula. We had Behringer. Uh, there was another wine there. I can't quite remember. I have it listed. But I mean, so we were having some really good wine over the last couple of days. But when I got back, I, you know, I was like, well, well, let's go shopping and went to my local Hagen and uh, found this Chardonnay again. And I'm looking at it, I'm going, that can't be right. I paid $10 for this bottle. So let's go ahead and dive into the nose. Let me, let's see if this has been a one-off. As you heard, I took the screw top off, just cracked it again. So we're going to see if this is as good as it was a couple days ago. Right off the bat, I'm getting a beautiful citrus note, which is what I got the other day. There's a honey, uh, not a honey suckle, but a honeydew lemon note. There is a yellow pear note to this. Now, and I'm going to tell you right now, the nose on this is intense. I mean, I don't have to put my nose right in the glass to get what I'm smelling here. And now underlying everything, there is a nice vanilla note. Now, I don't know if the vanilla is coming from the grape. I suspect since it's a 2018 that it probably wasn't barreled. Like most Washington State Chardonnays, they are aged in stainless steel. All right. Well, let's go take a color look at the color, by the way. This is definitely a straw. It is clear and it is a bright straw. Yeah, I mean, that is, it, it, it's, it's very, very clear. All right. There's a little bit of a little bit of mineralization. I can't quite pin it. Almost like cobblestone. All right, let's go ahead and take a sip, shall we? right off the bat that citrus zest latches onto your palate 
that mineralization now really does come through. And I'm talking, uh, have you ever had a whiskey stone? That's what it's reminding me of, is a whiskey stone in your glass. So I'm getting that, that lemon zest, that citrus zest, that pear does come through. There is some apple to it though. And there's that underlying sweetness, that, that honeysuckle, that honeydew lemon. There's a, uh, maybe even a little bit of cantaloupe, almost, mixed in with the pear. I will say the it kind of glides over. And for a Chardonnay, this has got a medium to a medium long finish. Um, I'm still tasting that, that honeydew melon on this. Ah, yeah, I would say this is a medium to medium long finish. What is the alcohol in this? This is at 13.5%. I don't get any alcohol either on the nose or the palate. This is a dangerous Chardonnay. I mean, this is, this is a one of those Chardonnays that is going to be crisp and clear. Now, for those that have watched my channel before, I like a California butter bomb Chardonnay. I like that creaminess. I like that that butteriness that uh, almost where it uh, glides like like fat on your palate. This, with that sweetness, is very subtle. With that little bit of mineralization, it makes up for the lack of that creamy butteriness. Let's go ahead and have another sip. Oh, you know what? And I, I'm seriously considering putting in, at the end of the year, a, a budget winner. And I'll be honest with you, right now, for the price, at $10 a bottle, this is quite possibly one of the finest Chardonnays I've had in the last year. Now, there is a Chardonnay that's, that is very, very good that I've had, and I was thinking about reviewing it, but it was also $50 a bottle. This, yeah, this is a really, really good. I'll go ahead and put a link down in the description down below from Lone Birch. Uh, they do say that this is a state grown, so this is not like it's a, I don't believe this is one of those wineries that buys grapes and then sends them off to somebody else to crush it for them and then they they do the rest of it. I know I think this is um, somebody I'm gonna look into and my wife and I, when we decide to go out, uh, Back to Eastern Washington this spring. Let's see here. Produced and bottled by Lone Birch out of Sunnyside, Washington. So, anyways, what am I going to rate this? <sighs> you know, everything is, everything flows. The the, the palate, the, uh, the aromas, they all are in balance. Uh, the, the finish, it's, it's a medium to medium long finish. The nose on this is the intensity, and the intensity of the aromas balances really well with the flavors. Boy, I would be hard pressed to give this anything less than a full 91. <laughs> For a $10 bottle of Chardonnay, I've got to give this a 91 out of 100. So far, this is the shocker of the year. So that being said, have you guys tried Lone Birch? If you have, had, please let me know in the comments down below. What do you like about Chardonnays? Is there another Chardonnay from Washington State you guys want me to go ahead and try? Find, or is there a California or an Oregon or even a European Chardonnay that you guys want me to go ahead and review? Please let put the comments down below. Please, please, please click on the link for Lone Birch. See if you can find this bottle. If you do like Chardonnay, give this a try. If you don't like Chardonnay, Give this Chardonnay a try. I really do highly recommend it. Yeah, 91 out of 100. So that being said, folks, as always, please, please, please drink responsibly. Nice thing is, is a lot of you are quarantined. So as you're drinking responsibly, it means you shouldn't be driving anyways because you're not going to be visiting anybody. So as always, life is too short for either bad wine or bad whiskey. This is a surprisingly good budget-minded Beautifully prepared Chardonnay. Cheers.
I think we're going to get a case of this.